The following are various details which are present in everyday objects and have unsuspected meanings. Let's start with a feature that we have never been interested in, but we have all seen before, the hole in the tip of the cap of the big pen. You have handled this object all through your childhood. You may have once or twice vaguely considered this particularity apparently insignificant. In reality, if the manufacturers have included this detail in their design, it is not for form. Suppose you were to absent-mindedly chew the cap of your pen, and suddenly you accidentally sucked it off and swallowed it. It happens unfortunately that this fact occurs most frequently with children. Right, if the piece of plastic remains stuck in your throat, you will have the life saved thanks to this tiny hole. Indeed, it will allow the air to circulate a little bit, preventing you to choke mortally. It is not a specificity of the brand. These are international safety norms that must be respected. It said this small opening has other uses but less obvious. For example, it prevents the anchor to be dry by the absence of air, or it eases the gliding of the cap by allowing the air to be evacuated. When purchasing some clothes, it happens that customers are surprised to receive a sample of the fabric in a plastic pouch. This may have already happened to you, naturally. Buyers are curious to know why this piece of clothing was offered to them. Is it to patch up a possible tears? Not entirely. However, these samples have a preventive utility. It allows simply to know better the material of the coat, the shirt, or the draft bought. It is a way of experimenting on a small scale. The sample helps you to find the most appropriate method to wash your new clothes safely. That way you will avoid degrading them. Now let's talk about the most familiar, the most iconic, and the most wearable shoes in the world. The Converse. Possessing a pair of these traditional shoes is almost a necessity when you are in high school or college. Although Converse shoes have gone out of fashion to some extent, they still are sold in quantity. Such a common item however has a mysterious detail interesting to know. You may not have noticed, but there is on the two sides of your Converse. Two small holes spaced of a few centimeters. You may believe at first that it is a random decorative element, but it is not the case. These two holes allow not only to limit the perspiration of the feet, but they also have a function that you can't guess at first sight, that of better adjusting the shoe to your foot. Indeed, these two holes are placed at this precise place to insert your laces, with the help of a particular manner. By introducing the laces in all the holes starting with the two side holes, you will manage to enclose your shoe. This being said is an anecdote. Note that the word Converse comes from the brand Converse Robbers Company, created in 1908 by Marquise Miles. If he named the shoes brand Converse, it's because his mother was named that way. During these years, the company of Mill sold boots whose soles were in anti-sliding rubber in order to prevent the slips. If you have Converse, do not hesitate to test this trick. You will put them with more comfort. Has your attention already been drawn to the shape of a wine bottle? You will have noticed that the lower part is concave. But as for the previous cases, you did not try to find out why. You say to yourself that this detail must have its importance since it is found in all wine bottles or some exceptions. However, the hollow bottom of the wine bottles has interesting explanations and origins. We have to go back to the 4th century to find the first application of this process. At this period, the glass blowing techniques were rudimentary, and the bottle manufacturers had a hard time to produce perfectly flat bottoms. In addition, the concavity of the bottom stabilized the bottles, and it was easier to put them on a table. The method was therefore more practical and more profitable, and it extended through the ages. Today, glass blowing has evolved considerably, but the hollow of the bottles is preserved. The action of digging the base is called prick, or sting, in the professional jargon. On the other hand, it allows a better distribution of the pressure of the carbonic gas in the bottles of sparkling wine, such as champagne. You have probably already noticed on your different jeans some metal buttons, apparently unnecessary fixed in some places. You want to know what are these typical jeans ornaments for? Don't move. We'll tell you. The reason is very interesting. And as for the previous case, you have to go back in time a bit. These buttons are in reality rivets. In other words, elements of fixation like the pins. In the 19th century, wearers hardly knew the jeans so famous of our days. The carriers of this new dress combed at the necklines of the pockets tore too easily. And indeed, Certain folds of the fabric were fragile, particularly the pockets, to handle and use unceasingly. The tailor Jacob W. Davis, native of Latvia, had the idea to insert leather rivets on the pockets and in other vulnerable places. He associated with the tailor Levis Strauss to patent the invention because his own funds were insufficient. 
and through time the U spread and the rivets became a universal characteristic of the genes. Strictly speaking, the history of these rivets and copper is indistinguishable from history. Even Levi-Strauss and Davis genes are considered the inventors, and it is thanks to them that this type of mixed pants has become a worldwide success. Levi-Strauss was born in Bavaria and moved to San Francisco at the age of 18 to work as a fabric merchant. He devoted himself to the making of work uniforms for miners and lumberjacks. He designed clothes that had the characteristics of work clothes with a wide cut, a resistant and solid fabric, and tool pockets. It is in the 30s in the United States that the jeans will reach a large public and not only the workers. The jeans became very appreciated by women, students, and American artists. A few years later it made its introduction in Europe and conquered a clientele unceasingly wider, to be finally the clothing impossible to circumvent that one knows today. To return to the rivets, certainly, they are less necessary today than it was at the epoch of Davis and Strauss, since the jeans sweat much less. Nevertheless, this element still embellishes often our pants. We can easily imagine a golf ball, it is not perfectly slanty. If we look at it closely, we notice that it has fine cells regularly distributed on the whole surface. You can guess that it is for aerodynamic reasons. But first let's mention the fortuitous origin of this special texture of golf balls. In the 18th century these balls were made in a very unusual way. They were made of kite, filled with bird feathers, and sewn by hand. A century later they were made of gutta percha, but this did not respond to the demands of golfers. In fact, the balls had unsatisfactory trajectories. The ball did not fly far enough, however, it was noticed that the more the game advanced, the more play improved, is that the ball became bumpy. The asperities favored the performance. When the ball has cells, the contact with air is reduced, and therefore it is not slowed down in its trajectory, which is convenient for all fans of this sport. In the 20th century, the industry generalized its alveolar golf balls. Today, this shape is mandatory and is part of the regulations to respect in this sport. In the world of clothing, there are a great number of obvious or barely perceptible details that have an unsuspected utility. We have talked about jeans, converse, and now we will see the shirts. You may have noticed on the back of your shirt, at the place between the shoulder pads, a small buckle called a coordinate. It is the sailors who first had the idea to hang their shirts more conveniently. This small piece was so useful that it was included in all varieties of shirts that were when hanging the shirt after washing, as irons were not as practical, nor as efficient as today. This cord made life much easier. Today it is more common to use hangers to store our shirts but this little buckle has remained present until today. Produced, from the cheapest to the most luxurious, workers use this coordinate to hang their shirts in their lockers, and sportsmen in their changing rooms. It also allowed to avoid creases and wrinkles. In the shopping caddy that you borrow at the supermarket, there is a small detail that you ignore, and nevertheless will facilitate your life. You do not notice it when you are absorbed by your shopping list, or by the race where the products that you are seeking. In your shopping carousel there are some hooks that have a certain usefulness. For the customers who want to load their shopping cart, these hooks simply allow to optimize the space. By hanging on your bags you free up space just below, and you can easily place some delicate products. Like eggs for example, this is very practical for people who have to buy a lot of things. However, if one is woman, it is necessary to prevent a hanger handbag there, because it would be very easy for robber to grab it or steal the things inside. This device is only intended for the shopping bags in the case of lack of space. I hope this information will be useful to you one day. Hey, let us interest now in the underwear ladies, more particularly in the knickers which conception is more complex than one imagine. It's on these safeguards the intimate parts that are a very sensitive zone and very open to the irritations and to the infections. This is why the manufacturers of small knickers had one day an idea of genius. Did you notice that all the knickers comprises inside in the middle of pocket in form of doubling? Have you ever wondered why? This pouch is called a gusset. It is generally made of cotton, and it prevents the prolonged rubbing and the contact between the intimate zone and the irritating fabric. As the lace for example, this gusset procures to the women a hygienic protection by the way the infections would be less frequent. And children love lollipops, and perhaps you are also fond of them. If this is the case you have surely already noticed at the end of the stick is white, a small hole after you have crunched all the colored candy. But what can this hole serve? Can imagine this small hole, in fact it has various uses. First of all it allows to fix the candy better. Indeed the manufacturers melt sugar in this tiny hollow so that the candy can hold well. A hint of answer is found in the first case that we saw together. All those who have chewed the stick for a long time after having swallowed all the candy. The second usefulness is of secureness as for the cap of pen. It prevents the accidental choking in case the children will swallow these bars. By the way if you notice well the entire hollow bar just to avoid this misfortune. 
The plastic bottles of fresh water or lemonade contain a small detail that you may not have noticed. Open the bottle and consider the plastic cap. It contains a flexible and transparent disc has the same diameter as the closure. And according to all seams, it is superfluous. The disc is not an essential use, but it is better to have it there. If you remove it, you can still close the bottle, but not hermetically. Indeed, if you put the bottle inverted, the liquid risks to filter out at the place of the cap. The disc is therefore a very useful element when you want to put your bottle in a school bag or in a backpack. Moreover, if the product is a carbonated water or a soda, this disc ensures the good conservation of the gas in the liquid. Now tell us in the comments which of its anecdotal meaning surprised you the most. Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.